Welcome to Dan DJ. We're taking more risky aspects of crypto and digital assets and try to find the next 10 to 100x gem. So today, what we're talking about is everybody's favorite subject, meme coins. And the reason why we're talking about meme coins is because there is massive opportunity, but there is massive risk. I cannot stress this enough. Meme coins are essentially gambling. And when we take a look at this, we really try to find the best one or at least the good ones that are out there. And I think Katamoto could be one of those. So the reason why we're talking about, of course, meme coins, is if we take a look at just how well they've done, like Dog with Hat, they seem to just go up in the beginning and then have a marvelous crash. Same thing with Pepe coin, the same thing with Book of Meme. And you can take that and extrapolate that across most of the meme coins that are out there. Now, there are very few that actually make it into the stratosphere. Bonk would be one of those, uh, the original meme coin, which would be Dogecoin and a couple of other ones that have done quite well, but it is not common. So when I talk about how this is gambling, it really is gambling. But if we think about it, why are meme coins so popular? And of course, some people will turn up their nose to it and say, that's ridiculous. But well, there was a video actually from Chris Camillo, and he is the founder of Dumb Money TV. He actually put out a pretty good book, which talked about laughing at Wall Street how I beat the pros in investing. And Chris is something of an anomaly because he's not a stockbroker, an analyst, or a hedge fund manager. And actually, his trip was actually documented by an outside source. He's just an ordinary guy. And uh, he discovered trends and uh, investments. And it says here, hidden in everyday life. What he really did, what it really came down to, was he used what's called social arbitrage investing. And he took a look at what was going on around him and said, you know what, that is a trend. That is what's going on. I'm going to invest into that. And people will say, well, that's very dumb. Well, this guy turned $20,000 into $20 million in a couple of years. So I think it actually can be done. Now, is that going to happen to you? That's <laughs> not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, I think sometimes we put a little bit too much emphasis on the smart money out there, when in reality, it could be very easy. So what we're looking at today meme coins. And the reason why is because BNB chain actually put this out. He says, we're thrilled to announce the BNB chain meme innovation battle where it says 1 million is up for grabs. Now all the chains are pretty much doing this. We saw the same type of innovation uh, being put forth by Avalanche. Of course, we've got Base coming up with their different meme coins. And of course, Solana has uh, had a run up and of course the original, which would be Ethereum. So now BNB chain is actually getting into it. And because of that, Tencent, which we've worked uh, for a couple of projects now for the launch pad, they are launching their own meme coin called Katamoto. And just, they actually talked about this about seven or eight days ago. And they said, we're gonna launch our own meme coin. We're going to be uh, piggybacked. And of course they are partners with BNB chain. And just on that announcement alone, the price went from under a dollar to a dollar 48 and now sits at a dollar 46 and went down 1.2% today. And if you know, of course, today is not a very great day for crypto as things have been crashing as CPI numbers have come out. So Katamoto is the name of the project. Very ambitious plan to reach the top 100 coin market cap products. Of course, they all say that. Katamoto will be listed on a DEX pancake swap. So right away, we have an announcement. They've already got a partnership with BNB Chain, and they've already got a listing for pancake swap, which is a DEX, which is far ahead of a lot of different products that are out there already. So let's keep going. Where every single transaction or swap will be charged a 1% fee. The fee of these swaps will be split into two transactions. Half a percent will go into automatic refueling of liquidity and a half percent will go as buyback fee for 10 cent token. So right there where 10 cent is going to make in the revenue will, of course, be the buybacks. Why will people be buying or selling these uh, meme coins? Because that's what meme coins are there for. 10 separate smart contracts, with about 2000 BNB tokens, each will be managed by a special smart contract, which will buy and sell 24 seven the tokens and generate billions of volume and push the size of liquidity. Pretty good idea for 10 cents. So what does this look like in a graphical representation? Take a look at this. So again, liquidity will be 100 BNB and there'll be 100 million Katamoto tokens. And of course, for the liquidity, it will all depend on the smart contracts. 19,800 BNB for buyback would have been raised and it's gonna be split in those 10 wallets. That'll be the liquidity providers themselves. And they're gonna keep buying and selling through pancake swap. Again, 0.5% will go to buyback, and zero point, other 0.5% will go to the 10 cent tokens. This will increase the liquidity pool over and over as we have an increase in liquidity as people are buying and selling everything back and going back and forth. 
So here's where it gets even more interesting. As an additional strategy, if we have great volume, strong community, good capitalization is achieved, which I think they will, it will give us a chance for grants from BNB chain. All potential grants received for the meme coin battle will go where? Yes, to the automatic buy and sell wallets to increase volume even more. And actually, we can see that in the BNB chain, the meme innovation. And underneath here, it says very clearly, award distribution of this competition. Total trading volume derived from all qualifying meme tokens in the, in the campaign, 30 billion plus. I'm relatively sure that Tencent can actually pull this off with their trading volume. Remember, this is trading volume, not the actual revenue or not the actual amount of what the token is worth. But if they do get 30 billion plus, they will receive $1 million as far as unlocked dynamic rewards, which will go right back to the pool itself. So it looks like something that can be done. So here's the official timetable and crucial dates. This is why I'm putting this out right now. It's important that you're watching this video. So today we're on 11th of April, just tomorrow, or it could be in 18 hours or so, depending on where you're at. The meme stale stage one. The next day is stale stage two. The next day after that, stage three, and so on and so forth. 16th of April, we'll have listing details. And 9th of April is the official listing on PancakeSwap. Again, already ready to go. 100% of funds will be donated to liquidity and buy, sell smart contracts. Initial liquidity will contain 100 BNB, 100 billion Kanemoto tokens, and the wallets contain 19,000 BNB. All tokens will be 100%. Uh, available at the token generation event. So when they're listed on PancakeSwap, it won't be any kind of cliff. There won't be any kind of holdbacks. It will all be available as far as the 100 million Katamoto tokens. So the sale will be divided into four stages. Liquidity on PancakeSwap will be 100% locked forever. There's a tokenomics again. So the stage one is a launch pad. We'll get into that in a second. You're looking at 50% of the supply. Stage two is the infinity, 10 set holders, and Zealy 7.5%. And the KOL round, which is what I got into, is only 5% of the supply. And yes, I had to buy into this because I like a little gambling myself. And does that mean that I put my entire life savings and sold all my assets to get into this? No, it's a gamble and I am well aware of that. Hopefully you are as well. Can't give you financial advice, but just understand again that this is gambling. Below the description. So here's we get into the different stages. Stage one, 10 cent launch pad, 10 of BNB. You can join by locking as little as a thousand ten cent tokens for one year, which grants you access to all launches during the period, not just Katamoto. Now, if you're looking for information as to how that actually works, we did a couple of videos on how you can enter into the ten cent launch pad, and actually two of those links are in the description, so you can understand that quite easily. Going back, stage two, ten cent infinity stakers or twenty five hundred BNB which are available. Access to this round is for stakers of the Tencent Infinity platform. Again, we've talked about that on the video. Users who have a lock of 30 days or longer will be eligible to participate. It will be a guaranteed allocation round. Stage three, access to the round is for Tencent token holders who have a minimum of 10 Tencent and have made a buy transaction within Tencent within the last 30 days before 30th of April. Stage four is a Zeely campaign. And Zeely, if you're not familiar with it, is essentially to be able to go through that do little things that they actually ask you to do, have them follow them on the socials. And it's pretty much like uh, engagement farming and getting through that. So there's also uh, that which is available. And also, as I'm a big believer in getting the message out, it's important that we discover who's actually going to be talking about this project and actually going to get the information out to the masses. So what I did is I took a look at Katamoto and also to Tencent, to their Twitter accounts to see uh, who's following them. And I'm just going to have you, I'm just going to scroll through this and you can decide for yourself if uh, any of these people that you know uh, would actually be talking about it as well. And then also we have uh, this one. And then uh, also there's uh, the ones from Tencent. So as I scroll through here, maybe you know some of these names, maybe you don't. But I can just tell you that a lot of these people that are on here are the people that I know are probably going to talk about this to all of their followers to get them into Katamoto, but we'll see. And then lastly, before we take off, as a reminder uh, for all these different DGEN plays, there's a link in the description, which is a spreadsheet, which has all the different DGEN plays I've actually invested into. It's called the 5% DGEN plays. I don't put my entire life savings into that. Again, like we talked about, but you can find out uh, what the different um, returns have been. They've been favorable and not. And lastly, if you're a little bit, uh, confused as to maybe like, well, what about profits and how does it actually work? I did a video about this as far as like stress-free profits and how to look 
into the different uh, products that are out there for stress-free gains. That's it for today. So look, all the information that we talked about, there's links in the description. You can find out everything that we said. And of course, learn more things about uh, Tencent to learn more things about Katamoto and actually how to get into that realm. That's it for today. I like today's video, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing. Everything we talk about is time sensitive. Thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one.